welcome to jayant's academy this is jayant this is a video that is done to reveal or to know more insights about solar eclipse what is the solar eclipse does it affect human beings i have heard that it affects pregnant women and i have heard that it affects mentally imbalanced people a lot is it true have you heard the same is it scientifically proved if you google the harmful effects of solar eclipse then you would definitely go and see some of the points that us there is no scientific base or there is no um explanation of how exactly does solar eclipse affect a human being but there is only one fact that states that solar eclipse affects human eyes so don't watch the eclipse in the naked eyes not just eclipse it is just don't watch sun in the naked eyes i have a question to ask i recently watched this film called kantara i think you also watched this movie in the movie it 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 replicates or it puts up a notion saying that uh, you should believe in god and god does exist even if all else fails the goodness the godliness will never fail i over a period of time have subscribed to this uh, understanding that there is god and god does exist with this belief system i am making this video and how is it related to the movie kantara and how is solar eclipse related to kantara you might be thinking there is a scene from the movie kantara which uh, speaks like this uh, the hero suddenly when he is sleeping he wakes up and after he wakes up his, he realizes that uh, there is something supernatural that is happening to him that is there is a inner voice that is trying to speak to him and say him that this is what you are i have been over years have experienced the same thing that as there is an inner voice not always sometimes that speaks up and that comes and says this is not what you are and this is what you have to do why did i bring this uh, movies reference while i am speaking about solar eclipses there is no scientific uh, explanation of why the person behaves in such a way during some times so that is something that the science could not explain my question to all the audience is just because science cannot explain certain things is it not true do you want everything to be explained by science is a question or is there a limitation for science to explain certain things think about it is there a malefic effect of solar eclipse that the science probably could have not explained is there science still growing at a stage where people even could not understand this thing i have seen a lot of interviews of superstar rajinikanth where he speaks and says where there is creation there is a creator so we are, we see a lot of creation around that does mean that there is creator yes possibly but the second dimension why i want to speak about solar eclipses you might have seen a lot of uh, religious practices that happens around it is not uh, in only one religion it is not hindus it is not muslims it is not christians variety of people across the world uh, practice different practices during the solar eclipse i think you have seen this has solar eclipse become a million dollar business today morning i read my uh, sun sign that as aries it said that you will be financially stable one more newspaper read uh, uh you might m- meet with an accident sooner if you do not do perform certain uh, functions for uh, solar eclipse i do not uh come at a conclusion or i do not want to give a judgment but my question to all of you who are listening is what is your opinion on this i definitely believe there is uh, uh power what i call god and i definitely trust in that is it a phenomena solar eclipse trying to give us a symptom or some suggestion i don't know how many of you have read this books by paulo colo is a brazilian author his book the book called alchemist has been sold across the world in many of the countries he in his book that is alchemist gives a reference to observe the nature he says listen to the birds listen to the wind the sound the smell and the fragrance of the flowers on the night and the dark 
and the different animals that comes at different uh, intervals of time for example you don't see owls in the morning you see owls in the night you don't see dogs uh, roaming around at all the time during the day you don't see certain birds chirping across what is that trying to say if you if you read this book he says that there is nature that tries to speak to you every time is solar eclipse a way that nature is trying to speak to you um, or trying to give you a hint or is it just a natural phenomena that occurs as explained by the scientist or is it a million dollar business as people are utilizing it or is it um, a god that exists and tries to show or exhibit has supernatural powers to tell the human beings that my dear human beings and other animals that i do exist what is your views on this what do you think about the solar eclipse please put in the comments below about what is your opinion on solar eclipse in the movie kantara and how this is related just because the science could not explain a particular phenomena do you think that science is limitation or limited or do you think that there are certain things that science definitely cannot explain what is your views please comment it and more than everything please please subscribe to jain's academy jain's academy is a youtube channel uh, that was created as a part of intellectual thinking capacity i cannot i can definitely create a lot of funny videos make unproductive useless shitty videos and upload and definitely garner a lot of subscribers and views that is not my intention i want me i want to make my uh, subscribers viewers whoever sees my videos to actually think for a moment if you actually see the previous videos i do indoor shooting outdoor shooting a lot of stuff if you definitely like this content please share this video with your friends whoever does believe does not believe in solar eclipse garner their opinion and comment below for more such intellectual um, discourse and intellectual videos subscribe to jain's academy